Hey guys, welcome to Riva Academy and in this tutorial we are going to look at implementing providers in your Flutter application. Okay, so in this start we are going to use this uh, default counter application and then we will modify it further to make the use of multi providers. Okay, so I request you to watch this video till the end. And right now what I am doing is I am removing the comments. Okay. And we are going to use this provider package. Okay. Now we will go to our pubsec YML file and add this dependency provider. Okay. We are going to use this provider package. And so we have added this dependency. And then we have to do this pub get so that this dependency is added in our project. Now let us go to our main class. Okay, now first step in using the provider is to create a class with a with change notifier. Okay, so now I will create the class counter okay with change notifier. Okay, this example is already present in Flutter Docs, but I am going to modify it further to use multi providers. Okay, so I am going to do a default counter implementation first okay so for that i have created just a simple int variable val zero okay because the initial value will be zero and then i will create the increment function okay right now in the default app there is already increment done in the set state over here okay where the counter value is incremented and i will use this in our increment function okay in this increment function we will increase the value of the counter by one and then we will call notify listeners okay this will in turn notify the wired widgets okay we will see how that is done and now we the second step is lifting the state up so we will go to our main function okay and we will make the state available at the top Okay, in the declarative frameworks like Flutter, it is always a good practice to make the state available at the base. Okay, and we have wrapped this with a change notifier provider. Okay, and there is this create parameter where we have to specify, okay, the name of the class with the change notifier. Okay, so we have created a class counter with the change notifier. Right, so we have created two things we have created a class with a class counter with a change notifier and then we have wrapped our main app class with the change notifier provider okay this example is already there okay in the flutter docs but i'm going to modify it further for using multi providers okay so now let us go ahead and uh, we will be doing the default uh, counter increment thing over here okay whenever the button is clicked increment button is clicked and the counter value changes we are going to do that using the provider okay so let us do that we will go to this exact text okay where the counter value is printed over here okay so instead of uh, printing the value from the set state counter plus plus we are going to use our provider okay so now to get the access there are two ways one it is provider dot off and other way is by using consumer okay so we will be using the consumer over here okay so we will write over here consumer okay it has this builder function okay and uh, this builder function will take context counter and the child right and uh, let me make this proper okay why still there is error okay cool right so now we can access the value from the our class counter created okay the class which we have created counter we can access the value from there and print over here okay so this is the object of that class counter dot okay well okay so whatever the latest value will be there will be printed over here okay now we have to do one more thing is we have to modify the on pressed function of our floating button okay because we have uh, written the increment function in our class and we are going to call that function over here okay so i will comment this part 
right and over here on pressed i will call the increment function which we have written okay and let us do this by using provider dot off okay so we will access again our class counter okay provider dot off context listen false dot increment okay what is the wrong over here yes we have not provided the type over here we have to provide the type that is counter okay in case we are using more than one provider this um, type is extremely important to specify okay so now i think we are done over here okay what is why we are getting this error okay i don't know how this got import let me remove that okay cool now let us do a hot restart okay cool now let us check okay we have removed the default implementation of the counter and we have made our own implementation using provider okay so now we are no longer using this set state okay so that which means we can we are tracking the state and we don't we no longer require the stateful widget over here okay i don't know somehow i am not able to change it to the stateless widget with this but uh, okay no problem i will just remove it and do it manually okay so i will convert this my main home page class to the stateless widget okay i will remove this title also from here and let us print a new title and uh, over here i will write stateless widget okay and let us print a new title over here say provider demo cool okay yes so it is working now properly okay so now we will modify this application to change the theme dynamically okay but before that a quick recap we have made a class with a counter with a change notifier okay and then we have added this change notifier provider which provides the instance of the not, uh, change notifiers to its descendant widgets okay and then we have accessed the state with the help of consumer okay here we have accessed the state with the help of the consumer to print the value of the counter okay and then we have also seen the use of provider of okay for the on press function of the floating button okay we have called the increment function okay so now we will um, modify this application right to change the theme right so what uh, what i will do is i will make a one more class over here okay my theme color with change notifier you can use in the same class but i wanted to show the concept of multi provider okay so so in this class we have uh, written one theme color okay and i will make the getter setter methods okay color get theme color and this theme color and i will make a set theme color okay so basically there is just one variable theme color and the getter setter method okay and uh, this also has the change notifier and we, we are going to call notify listeners right now we have to make this class also available to our main method uh, sorry main class over here okay so now over here we will wrap this with multi providers because we have more than one provider class right so to do that we have to do like this multi provider and it has it takes the array of providers right so we already have one provider that is counter i will make here few changes right i have to remove uh, i will just copy paste this inside and i will remove this child from here my app because it will come below the providers array right because here this will be the child of multi provider 
okay so in inside the multi provider there is this provider arrays right where we have to put all our providers okay now we have one more provider that is my theme color so we will put that also over here right so let us do that change notifier provider create it will take context and my theme color okay so in this way we can uh, use multi providers to provide multiple providers which we are using in our application because in the real time application there will be more than one providers class okay now let us see how we will access whenever there are multi providers okay right so now to change the theme color right we have to go in our material app okay before that what i will do is i will create a small color palette okay you can use the ready made color palette but uh, for this example i will make a small mini color palette for me so let us do that i have added a container and in the row i will put some colors okay container height width 30 and uh, i will give this a background color red okay so this is a little color okay i will create a little mini color palette you can of course use this uh, ready made color palette okay let me make this in the center okay cool now what i will do is i will wrap this in a material button so that i have the on pressed function right and uh, write this on pressed function let me keep it blank for now okay so we have one color in our color palette now let me add few more colors okay i will just copy paste this over here and uh, let me add one more color say green okay and one more say amber that is our orange color okay so now three colors are enough right and let me add some padding over here okay you can of course use the ready-made color palette but i have created my mini color palette and what i want is whenever i click this my color uh, the theme of the application should change okay now we have to access the providers okay and we can use it by providing the type of so now there is this primary stretch in the material app okay so instead of the colors by default specify what we will do is we will access the color from our provider class okay and to do that okay i will create your final theme color provided of okay we have to specify the type that is my theme color okay and then we can access it like this okay theme color dot theme color okay now let me just hot restart this app to work properly okay now you can see the default color we have specified in our class is blue over here okay if i change this color to some other color say red okay and just hot restart it the theme of the color will change to red okay now i will get back to blue again right so now what i want is when uh, whenever i click the colors from my color palette the theme should change accordingly right right now to do that we have to access the state of the provider okay and we have done that already in the counter app let us do this again over here okay we will go to the on pressed button right and we have already done in the provider you can see over here we have called the increment function okay so i will just copy paste from here okay and uh, i will paste this over here and instead of the type counter here our type will be my theme color okay this is very important and we have to access the setter function okay we have made the getter and setter function we have to make 
use of the set function team color that is equal to colors dot red okay cool now let us check this okay let me click on the red button and you can see the theme is changed now okay so what i will do is i will copy paste this for the other two buttons as well okay from my color palette okay you can of course make the use of the ready made color palette and dynamically pass the colors okay i just wanted to show you the usage of multi providers right okay now let us do that so whenever i will click on the green the theme will be changed to green and amber accordingly okay now i see there is some warning happening over here okay some deprecated warning okay now let me do one more thing uh, instead of primary swatch let me use primary color okay i think this should work th color dot okay theme color now let me hot restart one okay so yes this is working okay now this is uh, working but we can see that the floating button color is not changed okay so what i will do is i will use this floating action button theme and use the background color to set it as our theme color okay now this should work yes it is working now okay so i hope you got the concept of using providers multi providers in your application okay you can see now this is working from our color palette and our provide uh, counter is also working okay so the basic is you first step is to create a class with a change notifier okay which will call notify listeners inside then lift the state up which means to make this available to the base widget in over here it is our main class okay my app class okay we can use multi provider for in case of multiple providers and then you can access the state using provider dot off okay right and you can also access the state with the help of the consumer okay so i hope you like this video and if you did please share it with your friends who are also learning flutter thank you so much for watching